the Ekiti State Chapter of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ, rose to the call of social responsibility with a public lecture aimed at providing a solution to the rampant incident of insecurity in the country. The lecture, titled Breaking the Barriers to a Secured Society, was held on Thursday, 4th of April, 2024, in the sunny Apache Hall of the Old Governor's Office at Do Ekiti. For us at the NUJ, we believe in the Ekiti project. Has the need to come with this program to brainstorm and resolve on how to make our justice a pride of place as far as security is concerned. The last killing of our owners and adoption of our pupils in the state was indeed heartbreaking. May the souls of the departed owners rest in peace. The keynote address was delivered by the Southwest Coordinator of the National Center for the Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons, Ben Shola Akinladi. A secure state means a peaceful state. While effort is being made by regular stakeholders every day to ensure peaceful coexistence in Nigeria, the nation is recording unprecedented security challenges such as attacks by Boko Haram terrorists, militancy, armed robbery, banditry, kidnapping for ransom, farmers elders classes, autism, and many other vices. The prevalence of this crime is bringing major obstacles to Nigeria's sustainable development and orchestrating major shifts in shared societal values and norms. Things have indeed fallen apart and it will take a well-coordinated effort. Action plan and participation of all assembly for the center to hold. Ben Shola Akinladi was represented by Goye Olabisi. The theme for this public lecture, Breaking the Barriers, to a secure state. It's a well thought out topic, and the lecture would not have come at a better time than now, in view of the security situation in our society. There is the need to continue to rub in mind on the way forward to rescue our society from the cross of the undesirables. Who are the undesirables we are talking about? We are talking about the kidnappers. Arm robbers, bandits, militants, court groups, and many others. Citizens are encouraged to report illegal possession of arms. Remember the slogan if you see something, say something. Dr. Olushola Moka of the Federal University, Oye Ekiti, is of the opinion that Nigeria is yet to address the causes of proliferation of arms in the country. The proliferation of flight weapons and illegal arm trafficking in Nigeria poses a significant threat to peace, security, and development across their country. While these weapons themselves may not directly cause conflict or criminal activities, their widespread acquisition, accumulation, and illegal distribution often leads to an escalation of conflict, undermining peace agreements and hindering economic and social development. The ease of obtaining the arms and light weapons facilitate their misuse by criminals to achieve um, their personal objectives, contributing to a range of crimes including kidnapping, sexual abuse, and robbery, banditry, insurgency and so on. According to Moka, the country is faced with the symptoms of a failing state in the presence of unchecked proliferation of arms. In the south southern part of Nigeria and spreading into the southeast, of course, we realize that the uh, use and distribution of these illicit um, weapons have contributed immensely to the crisis that continues to escalate in those um, areas. However, there seems to be a lack of capacity or strong legal 
and institutional frameworks to regulate and combat this um, proliferation. Moreover, Nigeria states has yet to address the root causes of demand for these weapons, focusing more on symptoms than underlying issues. Demand factors such as mass unemployment, poverty, corruption, excessive militarization, especially during elections, and bad governance contribute significantly to the proliferation of small arms and the light weapons around us. The special advisor to the Equity State Governor on Security, retired Brigadier Ebenezer Ogundano, expressed the governor's appreciation to NUJ for its initiative. To the Nigerian Union of Journalists, Equity State Chapter, the governor, Abayomi, greatly appreciates the initiative of the, on the part of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, Equity State Council, to have come up with the public lecture at this time in the history of our nation and the state in particular. He commends the special network put in place by chairman of local government and the proactive stance of Governor Biodun Oyebanji. His Excellency, the Governor of the state, Biodun Abayomi Oyebanji, lately set up a security committee to synergize with the neighboring states and border local government chairman from neighboring states in order to come up with blueprints to safeguard our territories through joint border patrol, information gathering, and intelligence sharing, joint forest uh, combing, and other areas of community policing collaboration. The secretary to the Ekiri State Government, Dr. Abibat Adubiaro, adds a religious admonition to parents to foster children going into crime. Our leader in Islam, Prophet Muhammad Islam, said, when you get to a society and the society is good, that means the women there are good. And also, the Bible also tells us the same thing, that we should bring up our children in a, in, a, in a good way, so that when they grow up, they will not depart from it. So if our mothers, they have time for their children, if they bring them up very well, our societies will be a good place for all, for, all, for all of us to sleep with our two eyes closed. The main lecture of the day was delivered by the commander of Amotekun in Undo State, Akogun Adetunji Adeleye. I want to begin by emphasizing that the concept of security goes far beyond the mere absence of, of uh, violence and conflict. It encompasses the protection of individuals, communities, and nations from the threats that endanger their well-being and livelihoods. A secured society is one where people can live in peace and their rights and freedom protected, and where they have access to opportunities for socio-economic growth. There are, however, barriers to a secured society. These barriers, according to Adeleye, are corruption, weak institutions, social inequality, terrorism, organized crime, and cyber threats. To overcome the barriers, Adeleye suggests the building of strong institutions, promoting transparency, fostering inclusivity, enhancing international cooperation, and empowering communities. In conclusion, breaking the barriers to a, sec to a secured society requires a concerted effort from government, civil society, our traditional institutions especially, our traditional rulers, and private sectors and individuals generally who go a long way in addressing this insecurity problem. By addressing the root cause of insecurity, strengthening institutions, promoting transparency, fostering inclusive and enhancing international cooperation and empowering communities, we can create a safer and more prosperous society for all. Together, we can overcome the challenges that threaten our security 
and build a better future for generations to come. The public lecture is a deserving enlightenment opportunity for both the government and the public in the current effort to find a lasting solution to challenges of insecurity across the country. Ola Mileko Antoni, reporting for Puff TV. People of the Fountain.